Okay. All right. So today is Friday, July 8th. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that the recording works and doesn't cut out like it did yesterday. All right. So today's ideas. Yesterday we talked about um, if you don't have a Facebook group for customers, creating one. Um, I think uh, most everybody who's part of this little group already has one going. And we talked about increasing the attendance. I just wanted to share that I posted about the drawing. I have 50 four or 56 new members and one of those new members scrolled through the post saw my special for the rock rock and messaged me and said do you have any dates left i want to have a party and take advantage of that rock rock special this is why you want to increase the membership of your group because you don't want to be going back to the same people over and over and over seeing if they want to have a party that's like taking people who've just eaten a meal and trying to feed them more food. They're like, I like your food, but I'm really full right now and I need to just wait a little while. So we need to get more hungry people. Um, so one of today's ideas builds on, on, on that, building the membership of your Facebook group. So we already posted it, um, that we're gonna have this drawing and probably a few people have um, added some members. Another thing you can do is post on your personal wall that, hey, I have this group. If you're not already part of it, check it out. By the way, if you click share and you share this to your wall, I'll give you a ticket into the drawing that I'm doing. Details are on my group page. So now your friends are hopefully going to take that post, which has a link to your group, and they're gonna post it on their wall and hopefully other people are gonna post it to theirs and other people are going to join, okay? So this is friends of friends of friends. It's like an indirect way of getting a referral, okay? So that's one of the things you can do today. The other thing is talk to people. This morning I got up, I went to yoga. Uh, there were only about six people in the class, but after the class was over, I said, I've got a little favor to ask. Some of you know, but not all of you might know, I'm a Pamper Chef consultant. And I said, and I'm not asking you to buy or have a party or even come to a party. Here's my favor. I've been given this challenge I have till Monday. Would you guys please join my group? One of the people in the class was a brand new yoga stu student. She didn't even know me. Now she knows I do Pampered Chef. She says, oh my gosh, I love Pampered Chef. What's the name of your group? She takes out her pen so she can write it down. And, and then I thought I should have had it written down for everyone. So I did find a scrap piece of paper to write it down for one person. But had I to do it over again, I would have it on a bunch of sticky notes so I could hand it out to everybody. Or at least have a pad of sticky notes in my pocketbook so I could pretend that I, oh, well, look, I just happen to have it here. I'll write it all down for you guys. Um, I also went to the bank. The teller I see all the time. By the way, I have this group. I've been given this challenge. Not asking you to buy a thing, just, you know, um, request to join. And of course, I will accept you. So work on, this is a really easy thing to ask of people. You're not asking them if they want to have a party, if they need anything from Pamper Chef. You're just saying we'd be part of my group because I've been given this challenge. It would really be a help. Believe me, if they love it, Pamper Chef, if they haven't seen stuff in a while, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, that'd be great. And yeah, could I have a catalog or, you know, whatever. They'll ask for more if they want more. But right now, the goal over the next couple of days, just build, build, build. Because anybody who's new to a group will usually scroll through and look at all the posts and they're going to see whatever specials you've offered lately. You know, they're going to they're gonna see all of that. Okay, so those are two ideas to build your, um, your membership. And then the other thing that you could try is that free Friday if you wanted to. Do one or the other, maybe not both. Maybe do build the membership first and then next Friday do the uh, free Friday post that Mary and um, Kathy had posted on our, on our booking group. Um, I haven't yet found out how they how they get the answers to those I've posted. Uh, Kathy's not sure. She says, it's on Google Chrome. I'm thinking there are a lot of things on Google Chrome. <laughs> but um, anyway, hopefully we'll get the details on that. Um, but so those are the ideas for today. Okay, any questions? No, but can I say something? Please do. Okay, cool. Um, I what I did is I just kind of got caught up on all the calls, the one o'clock calls. 
So I was heading to out shopping this morning to go and find my 80s costume. Oh, I, <laughs> so I, I said, do mine. I'm going to Goodwill because I don't want to spend an arm and a leg and I really need a neon colored sweatshirt. But anyway, so what I did is I took a label and I just put my um, Facebook group name and I typed it on the label and I stuck a bunch of them on the back of my card, my business cards. Brilliant. So I handed out four of them today. I, I had already found the, the item that I was looking for, but I kind of tucked it away. And then I went up to a lady and I said, I'm really looking for something. And this is the story. And I told her about conference and she booked the show in August. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and I got her card. And what I love is you were going to go out to Goodwill anyway, but you worked with intention. This did not take a lot of extra time out of your life. It took thinking. Right. And, and, and that's the thing that I, I hope that people's takeaway is from this group, that long after this week of our sharing quick little ideas and running with them for a day or two, long after this week is over and hopefully we've all gotten an extra couple of bookings is imagine if it were your habit to just mm -hmm. do these quick little things every day for your business. Imagine the cumulative effect over weeks, months, years. Huge. It's huge. So, um, so thank you. That's a great idea. I'm definitely going to be doing that. And please, Belinda, can you post that on our page that, you know, they can take their, their address, put it on the back of a credit card. Uh, credit yep. card. Uh, business card. So we're yeah. saying, oh, could you please um, be added to my group? I'd love for you to add to my group. You'll help me with this challenge. Love that you brought up conference. And yes. Things, so that's awesome. Yay. And I, I am going to have everybody um, post um, after a week how many new shows are, are booked, wherever, whenever, whatever kind, just so um, – I can share it with the rest of the team. And then hopefully when we do this again, even more people will want to jump on board. So, all right. So those are the ideas for today. And uh, keep your fingers crossed for me that this recording works. And then I'll just have to post the recording and type up the ideas.